What's up, everybody? TCM here, back with another video. And we've been doing a lot of Active Directory stuff lately on stream, and you guys have been saying, hey, where's the zero log on vulnerability? We want to see the zero log on vulnerability. So I said I put a video out on YouTube, and here we are. So I'll be honest, I have not run any of the exploits yet so far. All I've done is read up a little bit on the exploit, and I've got my server ready. So what we're going to need for this is we're going to need a domain controller and we're going to need a Kali machine. So if you've got both of those, you should be good to go as long as the domain controller is not patched. Now, when we talk about zero logon, this is a pretty wicked vulnerability. You can see it's actually 2020, so it's fairly recent. And this comes straight from Secura, but the vulnerability basically stems from cryptographic authentication flaws. And that's going to allow an attacker like us to impersonate any computer, which includes the domain controller, and it's going to allow us to perform some remote code execution. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to clear out part of this password, or clear out the password so that we have zero logon. So what you're going to see is we're going to be able to log in. You can see here there's no actual hash on the left side, which we're used to seeing if you look at hashes. Those all become zeros. So we can basically log in without any hash or anything. I'm not even going to use this secret stump.py right here. We're just going to just do a dash just or uh, just DC here, and we'll see how that works out for us. And I think it'll work out just fine. We shouldn't even need this. So what I'm thinking is we're going to download this. We're going to go ahead and give it a go against this domain controller. And I haven't turned this domain controller on. It's the Windows Server 2019. I haven't turned it on in probably six months, seven months. This is something that I used for the PEH and I haven't touched it since. So I've come in here, I've logged in and all I've done is just grab the device name because I know we'll need that and I've grabbed the IP address. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a go. The other requirement too is that we're going to need an up-to-date version of Impacket. If you know me, I haven't wanted to update my Impacket for quite some time. I've been on 0.9.19. Uh, this actually required upgrading to 0.9.22. So you can see the most stable release is 2.1. We actually need 2.2. So per the instructions here, this is from 21 days ago or something like that. So it's very, very, very new. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. And while I'm grabbing this code, it's a good enough time to tell you, hey, where you been? How are you doing? If you're just watching for the first time, please do hit that like button, hit subscribe, comment down below if you like the video. Uh, we are still growing as a channel. I know I say this every time, but we're up over 134,000 subscribers as, as of today. That's amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing, guys and girls. Uh, and so I'm very thankful for all of you. All right, let's get this going and see if we can't get it to work. So I'm just going to git clone here. And we'll cd into zero logon. So now let's see what we need to do per the instructions. We need to... Do Python 3, all right, set empty. And then we're going to give it the DC net BIOS name, which is hydra-dc, and the IP address, which for me is 192.168.443. See if that works. All right, it looks like I'm having an issue here with this impacket. So even my impacket is still having issues, and I just downloaded it off the site. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're going to purge everything related to Impacket. So let's see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and purge all of that, and I'm going to make sure I auto-remove, and then I'm going to come in here and re-download this and reinstall it, so you get to see part of the troubleshooting process as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause here. We'll skip ahead, and I'll try this exploit one more time once I've got my Impacket fully installed. All right. I've got this set up and I'm actually going to run Impacket in a virtual environment instead of running it from my uh, folder here. So hopefully everything runs now as according to plan. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Looks like it's doing a little bit more. This is good, this is good. Okay, uh, no air codes, that's good. We got success, DC should now have empty string. Great, perfect. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is just run the secret stump, and then we don't even need the hashes, I don't think. We're just going to go ahead and uh, do something like this. We're going to say secret stump dot pi just DC, and then we're going to come in here and just give it the domain. Let me clear this out. 
we're going to go ahead and give it the domain, which was Marvel. And the host name was Hydra-DC. We need to put a dollar sign here because it is a computer. And then we're going to go ahead and give it the IP 192.168.443. Let's try that. Try no password. Aha, and it works. OK, so we just came through here. And look what we've done. We've dumped out the user credentials. And that's what this is going to have us do. So you could run it either way. Um, so it says what you should get the domain admin. After you have that, you can wmyexec.py to the target with credential from secret stump. So basically, we could use the hashes that we got for the administrator if we want. Um, we should have the Marvel administrator in here as well. Um, but we completely own the DC. So we have this, this administrator. We can copy this. And then we can come into, they said wmyexec. We could try that, wmyexec.py. Let's go ahead and, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and actually make this bigger. And we're going to utilize the domain, username, password. But we don't have a password. We're going to use hashes instead with the LMNT. So we'll go ahead and do wmyexec. And we'll go ahead and say Marvel administrator. And then we're going to go ahead and provide the at target name. And then we're going to give it a password. Or we're going to give it hashes. So we're going to say hashes like this. Do that. See if it works. <laughs> and we have a shell. Who am I? We are the administrator, host name, Hydra DC. And it's that easy. It's that easy. Other than the issue with me installing Impacket, which was my own fault, I mean, this was super, super straightforward. Um, <laughs> it's very, very scary that you can own a domain controller just like this. Now, if you're watching this video, please do take note that this can really screw some things up. So be very cautious. Do not run this in a production environment, OK? This can absolutely screw things up. You want to make sure that you run this against your own uh, your own machine in your own environment, because if I were to lose this right now without going back and restoring everything, I'm going to lose this domain controller too. So you got to be very, very careful. All right. Uh, so that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was great coming back and making another video for YouTube, especially with Active Directory. We've been doing a lot of Active Directory content again over on Twitch, but I'm going to start bringing some of that uh, back over to YouTube and you guys can can check out some of what we've been doing as well. So uh, thank you so much. If you like the video, of course, hit that like button, hit subscribe, comment down below. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.